Transmission begins. Five, four, three, two, one. Broadcasting live worldwide. I know by now you're wondering the name. 28 of 50 podcast. What does that mean? What does that represent? Well, let me tell you briefly. There are people in this world that do extraordinary things. The waitress at the restaurant, your mail carrier, your neighbor, a student, just a regular passerby. You never know their experiences, but they're out there doing the work. And at the grand opening of the Quell Springs location earlier this year for Black Rifle Coffee Company in Oklahoma City, I met people that fit this profile to a T. Hard-working Americans out there in the trenches doing things to support their families, businesses, and honoring those who serve and who have served this nation. I want to take the opportunity to highlight regular people just like myself out in the trenches day in and day out contributing to the American experience. Thanks for tuning in and I hope at some point I can meet you soon. Red Leg Tech is a veteran owned and operated organization designed to serve those who serve us. With a plethora of community missions in place, Red Leg Tech is designed to help veterans and first responders get the things that they need to sustain a productive life. For more information on Red Leg Tech, to donate and to also partner with Red Leg Tech, visit them today at redlegtechinc.org. Hey, Jeremy, welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. I'm just glad that we finally got the opportunity to do this. I've been wanting to do this a long time. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How about you, Raven? I'm doing good as well. You're a fellow Texan. I'm the Northern Texan. That's what I've been called because, <laughs> you know, I'm just right over the Red River here in Altus. But um, you got a lot of good stuff going on, Jeremy. So I'm going to open the floor to you to just, you know, give us a little background about who you are and, and a few projects that you're involved with real quick. Well, there's really not much that's about me. I'm just a, you know, simple God-fearing, humble man. I mean, I love God and I love being living a simple life, but I'm a retired uh, pro bull rider. I rode bulls um, for about, well, you know, start from 10 years old until I was 25. That's about 15 years. But when I turned 18, I was uh, went on some pro shows, stuff here and there for about seven years and uh, never, never really went anywhere with it. And, but at least I tried, right? I was, I, I tried. Yeah, you can uh, never say you didn't try. That's for sure. Right. I grew up here in a small little partial you i guess you would say or ranch here in texas and about well we had probably about 500 acres uh, i raised cattle and i raised rodeo stock for a little bit and hauled some bulls here and there and that's pretty much about my early life uh, mm-hmm. about 12 years ago a little over 12 years ago i started acting and doing stunts and stuff for independent film company they out of waco and they needed some extras for a TV series they were doing, local TV series, and so I was like, yeah, I, you know, I saw it on Facebook, so I went and did it and fell in love with it, and here I am 12 years later, got my own production company now, uh, audio and visual entertainment, Jeremy Dawson Productions. I'm also a vice president of operations for God's Own Ministry TV, which we are a Christian film company based out of here in Gatesville, Texas, and we uh, just finished the film up in May. It's a uh, Christian biker film. Without going into too many details, um, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's something I'm very proud of. Uh, probably some of the best acting I've ever done. I'm, of course, I have a small role in it, but I'm one of the main characters still, and it's, it's, I'm very, very proud of it just because it, it can lead people to cry. You know, it's something I'm very passionate about. Um, as you know, you can follow me on TikTok and my Facebook and stuff and my Instagram and that I'm, I'm, I'm all about helping people and I have my very own podcast, Jeremy Dossie Today, and what it's about is I'm, I, everybody has a story. Something, something, 
somewhere in your life, somebody has gone through something tragic, or not even tragic, or just something, you know, like me, for instance, I have very strong willpower. Mm-hmm. I've had a lot of things happen in my life, and I've overcome those things just because of my willpower and my faith. I believe everybody has a story, and somebody somewhere in this world can benefit from your story. That's what it is. I just talk to every day, you know, like me and you, and somebody somewhere can learn from it. And that's why I had you on the show, and uh, and I appreciate what you do in that regard, because you know we need more people trying to just add some sunlight, encouragement, and uh, positivity to their day. Now I know that the world is crazy, and you know it too. But oh, yeah. there are times, you know, you, we got to motivate each other. We got to pick each other up by the bootstrings. Sometimes we got to help the next man up. So that's what you do, and I commend you for it. Well, I think I did a video here a couple of weeks ago. It might have been actually last week where I believe, you know, it's okay to have bad days. It's okay not to make your bed. It's okay, you know, to not tuck your shirt in or, you know, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. But don't make it a habit. If you start making habits, that's when it becomes bad. And that's what I think is happening a lot now. People are not necessarily getting lazy. They're just, their life is so busy. And, and they then they start doing this. And then all of a sudden people see that, okay, well, I can do this. And then it, at least it's something else bad. And then, then here we are in this world because of situations of certain people not doing what they need to be taken care of. You know, and, and that's a long story for a short answer. <laughs> no, it's but fine. Hey, sometimes you need to break it. it. Well, sometimes you need to break it down. So thank you for breaking that down. And Jeremy, we're going to take a little quick break. And when we get back, we'll talk about some uh, projects that you have coming up here really soon and how people can get a hold of you. How about that? Sounds fantastic. You're listening to the 28 of 50 podcast, and we'll be right back. Red Lake Tech is a veteran-owned and operated organization designed to serve those who serve us. With a plethora of community missions in place, Red Lake Tech is designed to help veterans and first responders get the things that they need to sustain a productive life. For more information on Red Lake Tech, to donate, and to also partner with Red Lake Tech, visit them today at redlegtechinc.com. Org. Reunited, the Black Crows present Shake Your Money Maker. Played in its entirety. Plus all the hits. August 24th at Zoo Amphitheater. Celebrating the 30th anniversary of Shake Your Money Maker. Tickets on sale now at zooampokc.com. The Black Crows present Shake Your Money Maker. Produced by DCF Concerts. Top Branch Tree Service is the best in the Southwest at 785 375 2023. Oklahoma weather can be unpredictable and tree damage could happen. But when it does, you got a professional who is bonded, licensed, and it will help you remove shrubbery. Tree removal, stump removal, pest inside the trees. Jordan Creer, owner and operator, he will do it all. Give him a call today, 785-375-2023. That number one more time, 785-375-2023. Top Branch Tree Service gets the job done. And we're back with my conversation with Jeremy Dossi. And uh, it's all brought to you by Top Branch Tree Service, Billingsley Ford Lincoln Service Department, Lawton, Oklahoma. Earl's Rip Palace, 26 years and still smoking. Oklahoma barbecue at its finest. Find a location near you today at earlsribpalace.com. Red Leg Tech, serving those that serve us providing a plethora of community missions that you can be a part of today and partner with them. Log on to redlegtechinc.org. Hey, Jeremy, I know you got some uh, events coming up soon. Uh, One in particular that's just a few days away. Tell me about it. Yeah, um, I've got a really good friend of mine. Her name is Megan Killian. Okay. Uh, 
Well, she has a daughter, and I'm going to do the best I can with, her, with pronouncing some of this. Uh, her daughter is four or five years old. Her name is Kelsey. She has what is known, um, well, she has Down syndrome, but she also has, um, she don't speak at all. Okay. And her, her thing is, is where if she has trouble remembering her name or knowing her name or mother's name, stuff like that. Well, what her mother has done and some other people, they are getting her a service dog to help with you know, say she gets lost or something happens, or just to help Kelsey out better. There's a benefit here at Bare Bones Barbecue here in Gatesville, Texas, Sunday, but also there's a Facebook page where we can donate too. The donations are going to be to help pay for the training for this service dog. They already have the dog that was donated, but they're also, they just need to help for the pay for the training because it's, it's anywhere, you know, ten to 20000 on some of this training on this dog. Okay. Um, so, the Facebook page is Kelsey Service Pup Fundraisers. All the info for all the fundraisers and the benefits this weekend, their website, all the information to donate is there on this Facebook. See Kelsey's K E L S E Y. It's just Service Pup Fundraisers. Go there, like it. Um, actually, you can talk to Megan on there also. And I'm telling you, this little girl, she's amazing. She's awesome. She's full of energy, full of life. It makes you want to live, you know, just seeing her. Yeah, and thank you for being part of that for Kelsey. And uh, thank you for partnering with, with her mother to get that information out. And uh, we'll make oh, sure yeah. that it is out and, and circulating. But uh, just before I let you go, because I know you're a busy man today down there in Texas, let <laughs> people know uh, where you, they can hear your podcast and also... Um, if you kind of know a tentative date for your movie that you just filmed is coming out, or if you don't know that information right now, just let people know all your social suspects to stay updated for when that information is released. All right. My podcast, you can find on um, Apple Podcasts and Spotify are two major platforms that it's on, but there's like seven or eight different other platforms that it goes out to. Okay. But like I said, Spotify and Apple are the main two that I promote. It's um, Jeremy Dossey, J-E-R-E-M-Y-D-O-S-S-E-Y, today. It's the fun, interesting. Some of the subject matters is not appropriate for children. It's just something that uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody knows because, like I said, everybody's stories, you know, with addiction and things like that. And there's, that's why I say make sure children are not around. Okay. Mm-hmm. I understood. Uh, also... Film we just finished. It's called the Maddie Wonder Story, the biker, the biker Christian film. We just finished in May, so it usually takes a year to two years in for post production. I must say, probably was close to a year, year and a half before it's uh, ready. Actually, this, this script was wrote about almost nine years ago, and it's been sitting that long. We got it ready to go to post, and hopefully, we'll have that ready in a year, year and a half. And actually, there was a film I was a short film I was in a couple of weeks ago, and they'll be out tomorrow. It'll be on YouTube. Red Sea Entertainment, on I believe, on YouTube. Check them out. The trailer it's called Hybrid. The trailer is out on it, uh, but it's, it's just a little five, eight minute short film. It's something I'm proud of. You know, I get to I get to do some of my stunts. <laughs> okay. I, I love the stunt part, man. Oh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. It's all Jeremy Dossie. As I said, J-E-R-E-M-Y-D-O-S-S-E-Y. That's that's where you can find me at on all social media. All right, Jeremy. Sorry about that. Oh, no, 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 no problem. <laughs> well, thank you, Jeremy, for taking the time to talk to me today. And I look forward to talking to you again about other projects that you have coming up really soon. Thank you again, buddy. No problem. Thank you.